Okay, in this video we're going to prove um, a half a b sine c is the area of a triangle. So here I've drawn a uh, triangle and I've called the sides little a, little b, little c. And I've just marked in this angle big c. I could have put in here big b and big a, but we're only going to be using this angle as part of the proof. Okay, so you'll remember from um, maths or, or simple maths that the area of a triangle is a half the base times the height. Okay, so there of any triangles half the base times the height. So the base is here is B. So let's put that in a half of B. That's a coincidence. Base is B. And times the height. So the height, remember the perpendicular height is this. Now I'm gonna call this H for the time being. Okay. So it's gonna be a half of the base times the height H. Now we we're gonna find out what this H is. We're gonna use basic trigonometry. We're gonna put in a right angle there. Uh, this, if we consider this angle here being C, let's call that side, the H would be the opposite, and the A would be the hypotenuse. So we've got the hypotenuse and the opposite. So we're going to be using skipped over heaven for basic trigonometry to work out this height. Oh, sorry about my triangle. So the opposite is what we're trying to find. So we're going to do sine times hypotenuse. So sine of the angle, so the angle is big C, times the hypotenuse, which is A. So we find out that the height, the height is going to be equal to a sine c. So now what we're going to do is substitute this in for the h. So we get a half of the base times, or half of b, times a sine c. And if we just rearrange this, we get a half, put this in alphabetical order, a b sine c. So there you go, that's the proof that the area of a triangle is a half a b sine c. So the half times the base, and using basic trigonometry to get the height, you get that to be equal to a sine c. So then the area of the whole thing is a half a b sine c.